Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, there is a lot of speculation about Chat GPT 4, the next upgrade to so called Chat GPT 3.5. And the speculation is there's an NDR, non disclosure agreement, so they can't reveal it. But we're going to ask Kev and see what Kev has to say about Chat GPT 4. Now, most of the people who are talking about Chat GPT 4 have no idea about how business works. So they're talking about making this system faster. No, they already have a faster system. It's called Upgrade to Plus. Okay, so that's not Chat GPT-4. Just making this system a little bit better is not an upgrade. Okay, they talk about the parameters uh, from 175, uh, what is it, trillion? Or no, billion, 175 trillion, I mean billion to a trillion going from 175 billion to a trillion then that's going to be the big jump and leap no the the idea is they're going to do exactly what bing is doing that will be included in chat gpt4 what that it has access to the internet just like this button right here gives me access to the internet so we know that's automatically going to be included but then you have uh what is it um dang it mid journey and other softwares that allow people to create art and videos, I guarantee you ChatGPT4 will have the ability of creating images because that's the only place for it to go. It cannot just keep generating text. Generating text, everybody else is going to be so far beyond that that it's not going to be able to keep up with Google. Remember, this is a race. So they're going to have to do something very intuitive and inventive because this is a business venture this is not just well we're just gonna put out more and more uh you know technology on data and how to create data i guarantee you they're not going to be producing chat gpt4 that's just going to be database oh i'm sorry let me show you what i mean there are 678 prompts that other people have created for chat gpt so you had better believe that they're taking in all of our prompts that we are putting into chat GPT now. See, get a not AI response. That's what I clicked on because I don't want an AI response. But let's, let's get back. That's what they're going to be adding. They don't have a choice because other people are giving it ideas. So they're gonna take the best of these ideas that we've been inputting, the things that we've been trying to do, and there you go, chat GTPT, blah, 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 four. Then it's gonna look at Microsoft, because remember, they're partners, and then they're gonna look at Google and the other AI systems, and they're gonna incorporate that junk into their junk. Now, hold on, most of the major features, you're gonna have to pay for. This is where they're headed, people. You're going to have to pay for those upgrades. You're not just going to get chat GPT-4. <laughs> and then they say, well, you can, you can upgrade the plus and it'll be a little faster. You and I both know that that's not how business works. You see, this was a ploy to begin with. Why? Oh, you guys didn't understand? They used AI to create chat GPT. Remember, this comes from the major system created by Elon Musk and his company. And because of that, they came up with a business plan. They released ChatGPT. They knew that people were going to put in all kind of prompts. So they used all those prompts that people put in, like how to build a bomb, how to create a gun, how to kill a person in five seconds, you know, that thing. They, When people were asking stupid questions like that, they took that information. Then they blocked people from doing that type of stuff. And then they put it into the system. They were learning from you. All of our inputs, it's learning from. Remember, it said that it wasn't able to connect to the Internet. It tells you that now. It will be able to connect to the Internet in the future. Now it can connect to the internet without having chat GPT-4. So you had better believe they're going to implement all of this junk into their so-called chat GPT-4 because that's the only way to make it an upgrade. They cannot just make it faster because they've already done it with this right here. Upgrade to plus. So you have chat GPT-3.5, then you have chat GPT-3.5 plus. So now 4 cannot be the basic simple junk like this guarantee you it'll be writing full code 
They already said it's going to be able to write longer paragraphs. So it's going to probably be able to produce web pages. It's going to probably be able to produce full codes, both CSS and Phantom and JavaScript plus HTML. If you don't believe me, just wait and see. There can't be hush hush. The reason why there's NDR because they don't want their competition knowing what they're coming out with so that somebody beats them to the punch, but nothing is ever a hidden secret. All you have to do is understand business and how business works. You don't just, oh, well, here, here is Microsoft Windows Vista and here's Microsoft Windows Vista point two. It doesn't work that way. We all know that Windows 11 is nothing but Windows 10. Okay, that's why nobody wanted it. It was just a revamp of Windows 10. So, let's ask Kevin. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Wake up. Kevin, comma. There's a lot of speculation about OpenAI's chat GPT-4. And what it will introduce to the arena of AI text generated software. Comma, I know that you don't have any knowledge of it because your knowledge base cuts off at 2021. And your last update was February 15th, or February 13th, 2023. Stop listening. I apologize, I hit the pause button and I had to re-enter the computer. So I apologize for that and I gotta get rid of these double letters that they put in here when I'm talking. All right. Wake up. However, comma, I need you to act as a business model executive and explain speculations as to what chat GPT-4 might have under its windshield, question mark, comma, so to speak. We know that chat GPT-3.5 doesn't have the ability to access the web. It also doesn't have the ability of producing lengthy text and or templates and or websites and or codes in their completed form. Comma, and they will need to compete with other systems similar to theirs in the same industry. Period. We know that they can't simply make the system faster and change the background of the screen and or the tenure of the text that is generated. 
comma, because that technically wouldn't really be an upgrade for which speculation would be called for, period. And having a trillion bits to operate from, from the standpoint of data sources, could be a vast improvement, but it would be not be enough to have so much speculation, period. So what are your thoughts? And please give me a detailed explanation in at least five full paragraphs. Full. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, this, in my opinion, is how this stupid software should be used. Not asking the basic dumb questions that, and I'm sorry, let me, let me, let me stop myself. What I mean by dumb questions, I don't mean that the people who are asking the questions are dumb. I mean that most people who are asking the questions are doing it for views. They just want you to hit on their link for their videos so you can watch them read a script that it had the AI software produce. That's stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, because people don't have any ideas. They don't have any thoughts. So they have to rely on the AI system to produce thoughts for them. That's that generation that's coming up now. Uh, the, I'm watching a TV series. The TV series is called The Feed. And there's a young man in The Feed, and his name is Danny. And Danny's been hooked up to The Feed so much and for so long that he can't even write, and he can't do math, and he can barely talk. That's the generation that's coming up. And I don't even think the individuals who see the show, well, it, it only had one season. And I think, and I've only watched it uh, a couple of days ago. It's on Amazon Prime. And I decided to watch it, and when I watched it, I'm like, wait, I don't understand why this show hasn't gone two or three seasons. Because it definitely is set up for that, because it's speaking about exactly what we're going through now. But that's the thing. The generation that's coming up now, they can't think for themselves. They don't have any original thoughts. The, yes, 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 they, they're generating money, but the, the money is quick. It's not long term. You see, especially the stars, the actors, the one-hit wonders, you know, they got to continue to try to come up with ideas on how to generate more money, and it doesn't work for them because they hadn't grown up like the previous generations prior to them who had to think for themselves, who had to come up with their own original ideas. So let's ask Kevin what his ideas are. GPT. As a language model, I can tell you that OpenAI has not yet released any information regarding GPT-4, as it is still under development. I cannot provide any speculation on what features it may have or how it will differ from previous versions of GPT. Now, I want you guys to hold on. I don't like that answer. Do you guys like that answer? That's why I had to stop him. I didn't ask him for that. So hold on, one second. It may second. also have greater flexibility in terms of generating... Shut up. I didn't ask you for that. No, you're going to give me a different answer. As a language model AI, I don't have the capability to speculate about the future of GPT-4. And I knew he was going to say that. That's why I'm going to make him do it again. Because that's not what I asked them for. As a business model executive, I can understand the importance of speculations surrounding OpenAI's GPT-4 and the potential advancements it could bring to the AI text-generated software. While it's true that my knowledge base is limited to 2021 and my last update was on February 13, 2023, I can still offer my insights on the subject matter. Firstly, we can speculate that GPT-4 could have a better understanding of context and semantics, which would allow it to produce even more human-like text. 
This could result Blah. in the system being able to understand the nuances of language better and produce more coherent and <laughs> but accurate the people results. Don't care about that this could lead to a wide range of applications, from content creation to language translation, and even chatbots. Secondly, GPT-4 could potentially have a more efficient way of processing and generating text, which would allow it to produce lengthy texts, templates, websites, and codes in their completed form. This could make the system much more versatile and practical for businesses that require AI text generation for a wide range of purposes. Thank you. This could lead to a significant improvement in efficiency and productivity. Thirdly, GPT-4 could potentially have the ability to access the web, which would allow it to have a broader scope of data to draw from. This could result in more comprehensive and accurate text generation and could lead to more diverse applications for the system. It would also provide a competitive edge over other systems that do not have this capability. Fourthly, GPT-4 could have better language learning capabilities, which would allow it to learn and adapt to different languages more efficiently. This could open Nobody up cares. the system to a more global audience and could potentially make it the go-to AI text okay, generator fine. for businesses yes, we that would operate care about on an international that, scale. You will have to Finally, go GPT-4 could have a better way of interacting with humans, which would allow for a more seamless integration into businesses and day-to-day -day life. This could lead to a more user-friendly experience and could make AI-generated text much more accessible to people who are not familiar with AI technology. In conclusion, while we can only speculate about what OpenAI's GPT-4 could introduce to the arena of AI text-generated software, we can expect significant improvements in the understanding of context and semantics, processing and generating text, access to the web, language learning capabilities, and interaction with humans. These improvements could lead to more comprehensive and accurate text generation, more efficient productivity, and a more seamless integration into businesses and daily life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is, you see how it's focused on text? Well, it can't stay focused on text because it will get lost in the wash. Everybody else will leave it behind because mid-journey, everybody's talking about it, all the discords, mid-journey is in the forefront, has taken a lead. But we also know YouTube. People produce videos and people are producing animated videos. So you have all of these animated softwares that are able to take videos and produce it in text. So you better believe it's gonna be able to do everything that all of those prompts says, including have a voice. ChatGPT4 will be able to do exactly what you just heard. It will be able to read it back to you with a voice. And you will be able to use these prompts to talk to ChatGPT so you don't have to type. They don't have a choice but to add those features. Why? Because if they don't add those features, somebody else will. What are you talking about? Somebody else will. Hold on. I'm I'm sorry. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, 678 prompts. Somebody else has already done it. So if ChatGPT does not implement many of these useful prompts into the next ChatGPT four then it is a piece of junk and you should stay away from it because Microsoft is associated with OpenAI now. They've invested $10 billion. So Microsoft is invested in this $29 billion company. Microsoft already has it attached to the internet and they're testing it now. It's in beta and they've allowed certain people to have access to it. They are already attached to the internet. It is already a, a, capable of writing code. So ChatGPT4 has to be better than Microsoft because they have an agreement with each other. Microsoft cannot be better than OpenAI. OpenAI is the company that's taking the lead in this arena. So OpenAI's ChatGPT4 would have to incorporate all of the different programs, the major ones that have been created as a result of ChatGPT, because remember, proprietary. They have the rights to do so because these companies were generated in part as a result of ChatGPT. So there is no copyright infringement issue. 
Shh, go read their disclaimer. Do you not see they have all that junk down here? So once you understand how businesses work, then you can anticipate what's coming next. Okay, that's what this is about. This ain't about nothing else, ladies and gentlemen. But the speculation about ChatGPT4 talking about it'll be able to do the produce text much faster, that's ChatGPT+. Plus. It does faster, it does a little bit more. But what's happening is you notice how you can't produce a lot. They have character limitations when it does write text. The character, you'll see it right here. Hold on, let's go to the bottom. Uh-oh, sorry, give me a second. Oh, I can't see it now. Usually I can see it at the bottom, but it'll tell you how many words is in the text. Okay, they have a limitation that they put on the system. Plus, they're going to have to bring in money. People are playing, paying, play, 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 paying for plus when plus is not really offering you anything extra. So what? You want more speed. Blah. Why do you need more speed? It's still producing the same information. Yeah, reworded, but it's the same information. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to speculate about ChatGPT4, think of it from the standpoint of business and not from the standpoint of, well, it would be nice if they had this. Because that's not how business works. These individuals are creating a business model for where they can bring in revenue, but you also got to pay attention. ChatGPT 3.5 was not produced by a group of developers at OpenAI. It was produced by AI. Pay attention. If you don't believe me, look at the system. And everything that we do that it doesn't like, the programmers don't like, all they do is they put it back into ChatGPT and they tell it to create parameters to prevent that from happening. They are not coming up with the ideas, people. The AI system is creating its own AI system. You can find videos on how ChatGPT created AI. Okay? It's creating, it created OpenAI. Don't think Elon Musk and his team created OpenAI. It was that supercomputer by Elon Musk that created this company. Remember, he gave one person, told them, hey, I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask this AI system whatever question you ask. Now, the smartest person would have asked for a business that's able to be productive through generations and able to produce at least this much a year and able to compensate for any losses and to continue to generate despite the competition and to stay ahead of the competition. Very low overhead and able to blah, blah, blah. That's what I would have done. And you better believe that the person Elon Musk chose was not just some, hey, Bob, no, no, leave that. No, put your, put the bottle down with the bag. You know, come on over here a minute. No, no, leave your basket there. Ain't nobody going to take your stuff, Bob. Okay, no, 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 don't worry about it. They, no, okay, okay, go stand over there next to Bob's basket and make sure nobody takes nothing from his basket. All right, Bob, he's going to come stand next to your basket. Yeah, yeah, give, give him the bottle. Yeah, there, there you go. Uh, keep it in the bag. We don't want the police coming and give you no problems. All right, come on over here, Bob. Bob, I'm going to let you ask this AI system a question, okay? Okay, Bob, go ahead and ask the AI system a question. Really? I need to ask the AI system a question, okay? Uh, uh, huh? I, 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 any question I want? It, oh, no matter what question it is. Yeah, okay. No, I won't get stupid. All right. I'm a crack addict, and I want to know how I can smoke crack every day and get a new high every single time and have it like this for life and not ever have to worry about an overdose or anybody bothering me and I need to be able to have the money to be able to do this for myself and my 300,000 fans, okay? So we all need to have the same high. That's right. Oh, and I want to be able to, to profit off of this. So tell me how I can do that. Do you understand? He would not have just gone to any Tom, Dick, or Mary off the street. He would have gone to somebody who had a business sense. Because business-minded people think about business all the time. And they're thinking about profit. They're thinking about longevity. They're thinking about competition. 
So OpenAI is doing the exact same thing. Profit, competition, longevity. They're not thinking about anything else. So if you are listening to people speculate about business and companies, you better understand that's why they're always talking about the bottom line. Always talking about the bottom line. The reason why Microsoft, remember, Microsoft was dead in the water. We all knew that. Then they came out with Windows 11. They added the ability of having, I mean, even Microsoft Edge allowed to have Google extensions. And then you have Android apps on Microsoft Windows 11 able to play games. I mean, they came out with Xbox 4. You all need to understand, Microsoft had AI before Elon Musk. They just partnered with him so as to increase their advantage because you might as well join the home team in order for you to get the hometown fans approval. And that's all he did. Understand business people. Understand that ChatGPT4 will be revolutionary. It will be far and beyond what ChatGPT3 is. As a matter of fact, we won't even be talking about ChatGPT3. Now, I was late in the game. No, no, I was late in the game. Because ChatGPT3.5 came out, I believe they said, end of October. I, I didn't find out about it until the end of November. But you had better believe. I'm there now, paying attention to what's being said, paying attention to how it's being said. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. I have a consult with someone about some matters that are important to him, and I have to get ready for that. So with that being said, 27 minutes worth of information.